Birmingham City is perhaps most famous for its efforts at becoming more modern, the obvious example being the relatively new Bullring Shopping Centre which houses all the top brand stores and designer labels that attract the younger generation. However, Birmingham City wasn't always like this, and certain people in the city still embrace its heritage. The Bullring Markets are vibrant, colourful and communal alternative to expensive brand name shopping. Although the markets were established before the futuristic looking shopping complex and is more popular with the older generation of shoppers, Birmingham City Council have desires to have it closed down. Our announcement is now indicating that we have clear priorities, we've enriched the plan with detail and we're underpinning the master plan with a commitment to deliver. The big city plan of 2007 was a formidable idea. Today's master plan is a formidable plan. The big city plan, the master plan to create a world-class city centre in Birmingham, is the most ambitious project ever undertaken in the UK. At the heart of the Southern Gateway, the wholesale market's redevelopment will deliver a new public space. Moat Square will create an exciting cultural, retail and leisure destination for Birmingham. The ambitious aims of the big city plan cannot be achieved by any one organisation. More than ever, it's a partnership between the city's stakeholders, requiring cooperation and working together. Birmingham's big city plan, creating a world-class city. Market stall owners, van drivers, family members and even customers who use the Bullring Markets take part in the Save Our Markets peaceful protest to the ICC. July, the end of the July this year, 2011, Birmingham City Council decided that they were going to close and demolish Birmingham Wholesale Markets by the summer of 2013. And this will have a massive impact on the ball ring, the retail market, and also other small independent retail shops around the West Midlands and a bit further afield too. Yeah, um, can you just tell me how it will affect the market in general, like what will actually happen to the store like market owners? And store? Mm -hmm. Currently, about 70% of market traders on the Bullring Open Market, and, and the indoor market actually, to be fair, get around 70% um, of their produce from the wholesale market. When the wholesale market goes, um, which will be summer 2013, the nearest wholesale currently is Bristol and Manchester, which is a seven hour round trip. So, all traders will have to get a van or a lorry, um, probably HGV licences uh, and, and, tra and travel that distance to get their produce. So the, the prices will go up just because there'll be extra overheads. Also, the transport links um, to get onto the market aren't brilliant currently. Um, so it'll just be absolute mayhem in the morning. And also, there's no, there's no storage facilities. All our storage facilities currently are in the wholesale market. So when that's gone, we'll all have to find separate wholesale, um, sorry, separate um, storage facilities, which will again put the rise even more and we won't be able to compete with uh, supermarkets. Okay, um, uh, can you tell me your like, view on it? Yeah, um, well, I suppose that is basically my view. Um, I'm, a, I'm the secretary of the Bull Ring Open Market Committee and I'm also a trader on the market. And I just, I suppose I think that the Birmingham City Council have been very short sighted in their decision to close the markets because the income that it generates is not something to be sniffed at firstly. And also, we need an independent food distributor in the centre of a big city like Birmingham because otherwise we'll just be totally dependent on supermarkets who then have a monopoly and then all the prices will go but people won't have access, especially people on lower income, won't have access to fresh fruit and veg. And as Birmingham is a city that is seen as one of the most obese cities in, in, in the country at least, um, they need to be encouraging fruit and veg, uh, people eating more fruit, fresh produce, not a decrease in that. 